welcome to the r and Property Podcast with the real estate girl, Denise Haynes. In our podcast, we talk about all things real estate in rural New South Wales. We discuss a diverse range of topics to do with real estate, whether it is about making the tree change, doing a reno or getting to know our awesome country community. If ever you are in the area, please pop by and meet our team. r and Property are an amazing all-women real estate agency, working within the Stroud, Gloucester and Bulladilla areas. Now for our podcast. Hi, I'm Denise from r and Property and welcome to podcast number 10. So, you're thinking about a career in real estate. As the business owner of R&R Property, I have been told by a high number of people that they have always dreamed of working in real estate, which is really great. The industry does attract a glamour tag though, and I find that sometimes the reality is a bit of a shock once that dream is obtained. You are dealing with what is usually the client's largest investment they'll make in their life and within all sorts of emotional circumstances. People can love you and hate you within the space of 10 minutes, depending on how their day or the transaction is going. The various roles can be emotionally exhausting and may also be physically exhausting, especially if you are selling rural properties. Real estate can also be incredibly rewarding though, and we have many celebrations. We just love assisting people on their real estate journey and especially welcoming new locals to our area. The roles within the real estate industry are numerous and will vary depending on what area you work in. For example, city, suburbia, rural and commercial. I can say that having the experience of working within small agencies and having completed or helped out regularly in most roles within those agencies has been of great assistance. As a leader, I know how each person feels in their role and what it takes to complete it and can therefore empathize with them. I've been there and I've done it. Sure, systems change over the years, but the basics of the job remain. To be successful within the real estate industry, you really have to give your absolute all. It truly is a lifestyle, not just a job. If you want a 9 to 5 role with weekends off, this probably isn't the best industry for you. It is usually also a roller coaster of seasonally slower and busier times. So when it is busy, you have to pull out all the stops to get your many responsibilities completed in time. To work within the industry and be able to speak with clients about real estate matters, you will be required to obtain at least a certificate of registration. If anyone is trying to find work within the industry, I suggest you obtain this and keep it current. At the time of this podcast, it is required that you complete 12 CPD points annually, which are received through study and or authorised seminars. Some of the main roles within the real estate industry are Owner, Managing Director, who is usually the Principal Licensee as well. This is the person who is the head of the business where all responsibility finally sits. In other words, the buck stops here. They usually hold the license that the business is operating under. Amongst many other things, they have to ensure the business is compliant in both its operation and trust accounts. They also have to ensure that the team is trained, happy and functioning correctly, compliant. They have to make sure the business is making money And of course, that our customers are happy. If customers aren't happy, this is the person at the end of the day that they want to speak to. Sales agents. The sales agents are responsible for the listing and selling of properties. They complete price appraisals on clients' properties, obtain new listings to sell, show buyers through properties, complete open homes, auctions and negotiate to sell the properties with buyers and vendors. They are in constant contact with their sellers and buyers with updates and follow-up calls. Depending on the agency, they may be responsible for their own marketing, social media, letterbox flyers, etc. The time each sales inspection takes depends on what type of property it is as well. A residential inspection could take, let's say, 15 minutes and a rural inspection can take up to four hours, just as an example. 
Sales agents are also called upon regularly for presentation and styling tips when a property is about to hit the market. A real estate agency cannot survive without properties to sell, so it is crucial for the agency to obtain new listings. This usually falls under the role of the sales agents within the business. An agency that is busy selling and not listing will soon find itself in trouble. Sales assistants. The sales assistant role is a large responsibility and quite varied, depending on the size of the agency. They are the behind the scenes person who is organising basically everyone. The properties that we have for sale on the internet, social media, updating our in-house database, marketing in its many forms, including organising newspaper advertising. They're also doing the filing, the mail, the banking, the printing, calling clients and usually sitting at front of house, which of course is reception or front desk. Generally, this role is being a personal assistant to the whole team. Property manager. This is the person responsible for the agency's rent role or our landlord's investment properties. They have to find tenants for our landlord's properties through a screening process of internet search and references. Once a tenant is found, they have to complete a lease an ingoing report of the home, which means a recording how the property is presented prior to the tenant moving in. Regular inspections are completed throughout the year. Repairs and maintenance have to be attended to and rent must be accepted, recorded and of course paid out to the landlords. Once a tenant moves out, an outgoing report must be completed and compared to the ingoing report. Then they have to make any claims on damages and repairs if there are any. The property manager also has to make sure each property is compliant for safety reasons, including smoke alarms and swimming pools before and during rental. There are more roles within the industry depending on the size and location of the agency, but these are the basics. If you're in a large agency, for example, your role may be just one part of one of these roles as opposed to a smaller agency where you have quite a varied amount of responsibility and the roles may blend. To succeed in real estate, you have to be prepared to study, be a sponge, soak up knowledge and always go above and beyond your duties. You also have to have goals, write them down, complete an action plan and have a vision board as a daily reminder of them. Be passionate about your job. Because of the amount of work that is involved, you will only succeed if you have an absolute passion for the industry. Ultimately, it can be an extremely rewarding career and offers an amazing lifestyle. R&R Property are continually growing and expanding their footprint across the Great Lakes and Port Stephens areas. Accordingly, they are always on the lookout for exceptional team members that are willing to work within absolute dedication and passion, always prepared to work above and beyond the norm and aligning themselves with our amazing team culture. If you think you are one of those people, please let us know. We'd love to have a chat to you. I'm Denise Haynes and that's episode number 10. Thank you very much. If you would like to find out more about r r Property and the Stroud, Gloucester and Buller Dealer areas, whether buying or selling, contact us on 02 4994 5766 or via our website at www.rnrproperty.com.au. On behalf of Denise Haynes and the team, thank you for joining us and please remember to subscribe to our podcasts.